30 years ago this evening, a fire in downtown Johnson City claimed 16 lives and injured more than 50 people. Josh Smith joins us to discuss a documentary he and our News Channel 11 News Department have produced, taking a look back at that tragic night and its lasting effect on Johnson City. And Josh, thank you so much for being here Merry on goodness. Christmas Eve morning. Merry Christmas to, to you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for having me. I have been watching this documentary because, of course, it is already available on our website, WJHL.com. Mm. And just to take us back mm. that 30 years ago, the incredible work that you guys did to tell the story, mm. because I don't think a lot of people now, our generation, yeah. remember and looking back the details of that day. That's right. I remember that it happened, but I was unaware of so much of the tragedy of that night. And you know, so it's Christmas Eve, just like today, it's 5 p.m. It's like two degrees outside. There's ice everywhere. It was a horrible night for weather-wise, and five o'clock an alarm sounds at this 11-story high-rise downtown where seniors and people with disabilities live. Once a glamorous hotel, now low-income subsidized housing, but a, a place of pride for many of the people that live there. And I thought the whole building had burned. Not true. The first floor burned, but the whole place was filled with smoke, and 16 people died. And it was just a terrible night. And you talk about the smoke, and that is one of the things, mm. because when you see that video, you see the smoke coming out of those top floors. Out of the 11th floor of the building. Yeah, and you see the people wanting to be rescued from oh, those yeah. top floors. That's right. And so to find out that the fire indeed was on that first floor, yeah. ground level, That's right. but that the smoke had escaped through really the, what, the pipes and the, yeah. the hoses? And the, uh, the elevator shafts. You know, this is a, a compelling story, but we were, as we looked into it, we realized there was some real journalism to be done here. Mm -hmm. There was, in the years that followed, a great realization that that building was not safe at the time. Mm -hmm. And that fire led to changes in law across the state and even across the country that required sprinkler systems that demanded some higher standards for these buildings. So it was, it was a monumental moment. And that's why we knew it had to be more than a two minute news story. Mm -hmm. And then it became more than a 15 minute piece. And now it's really a full documentary, which is online. And then it will be on this coming Saturday on ABC Tri-Cities. And it is actually already aired from the past over the weekend. That's we also right. aired it and a lot of people talking about this and, and you guys really, I mean, you, you dug yeah. and you found these people to talk right. about. I was there. Mm -hmm. I was in that bucket. I rescued that woman yeah. or I remember the library or Muncie and, and the key players in yeah. this. That's right. So tonight, if you, you know, I, I invite you to do what I'm going to do. And that's uh, as I think about this story, if you have a chance to watch it, if you haven't already, I'm going to be thinking of Josephine Eager who wanted to stay home. Even though she could have gone with family, she wanted to go to Muncie Memorial across the street. I'm going to be thinking of her. I'm going to be thinking of Juanita Ward, who loved her apartment. She had fried chicken TV dinners and strawberry ice cream every night for dinner, and she mm -hmm. was a happy woman, mm -hmm. but her life was taken that night. And I'm going to remember the firefighters, so many of them who literally risked their lives to try to do what they could to save those people. So tonight is a happy night. It's a wonderful, sacred night. But it's a night to remember what happened 30 years ago. Well, a lot of bravery. And thank you so much for really telling that story thank again, you. really for some people for the first time, being able mm -hmm. to meet some of the people it who were there that It was for me, that, that very much the case. Again, all of this is now available on our website, wjhl.com. Josh Smith, thanks so much for Merry joining Christmas. us. Merry Christmas thank to you. you. Thank we'll be you. Right back.